What's up guys, this is Zant here, and today I have another After Effects editing tutorial for you guys. So this is an effect that I'm going to be showing you how to do that I used a lot in Ivy episode 3. So it's going to be an effect I'm sure a lot of you have seen before, but it's going to be the little pixelated squares that are just kind of like an overlay over the video. I'm going to call it the pixelated square overlay. Um, so this is pretty much what it looks like. You can see how it has these little squares everywhere, and they kind of like blend with the clip in the background. Um, and like they take each little square and like the color that is most prominent in that square, it kind of changes the color of that square to more color like that. So as the clip plays, they move around a bit, like, see? And then right when he hits this next shot, there's going to be a little burst effect that I'm also going to show you how to do in this video. Because if you have the right plugin for it, which is Trap Code Shine, it's actually pretty easy to do if you can do these little squares. See how they kind of burst like that? I think I use it in a few other places, like, um, uh, right here, yeah. Yeah, how it kind of bursts out of the screen like that. So that's another thing I'm going to be showing you how to do this video. So um, going back into After Effects, I'm just going to import my clip and make a new composition with it. Now I'm going to trim this up. Let's start it about right there. Do Alt Bracket to set the starting point, And I always enable time remapping on my clip unless I'm motion tracking it. So right off the bat, we're going to create an adjustment layer. Now, in case you don't know, an adjustment layer is a layer you can just apply an effect to, and then if you turn the layer off, the effect gets turned off. And it's just a pretty much a way to apply an effect to anything below the layer. So if I like put an effect on this layer here, which is the adjustment layer, and then I put it below this clip, the layer is not going to show up. So um, first of all, what we're going to do is, after we made the adjustment layer, we're going to search for a, um, an effect called Mosaic. I misspelled that. Mosaic. So. Uh, mosaic is an effect that just pretty much makes the clip pixelated. So since I apply it to adjustment layer, if I turn the adjustment layer off, it also turns off. And if I turn the opacity of the adjustment layer down, let's get opacity by pressing T on your keyboard. That's a quick little shortcut you can use. Turn the opacity down, it still appears, but it's over your clip. And it has the colors in the background, same as the video. And you're pretty much seeing a faded pixelated version of the video over your clip. So to make these little squares, you're going to just change the horizontal box to 16 and change the vertical box to 9. And voila, you have pixelated squares over your video. It's a very simple effect and I think it looks really cool. And all you need to do to change how much you see them is change the opacity of the adjustment layer. So you can keyframe it and make it, make it, um, make it animate on its own. So like keyframe right here. Put it down to like right here, put it like down to zero. And then if I play this right here, they'll disappear as that little clip goes on. So, very easy little effect you can do. It's really good if you, it, I mean, I am not don't mean to judge how you edit with this, but I think it works really well if you're using some kind of electronic music that sounds very like kind of, I don't know, pixely. I mean, it just sounds very electronic. Like, I thought the song I used was a song that it went very well with this effect, so I use the effect a lot. All right, next I'm going to show you how to do that little burst effect. I'm going to go to the shot where he hit that one where I did the little burst effect on. Um, and you're going to find the frame right when the hit marker appears from the shot. So, let's keep backing up. And right there. All right. Now what you're going to do is you're going to split your layer by hitting Control shift d And that is just something you do when you're syncing your clips together. And you should do it when applying effects too. So we're actually going to apply this effect to the adjustment layer. So I'm going to go and find the plugin Shine, which is a trap code plugin. Um, does not come with After Effects, but is a very nice plugin to have. And you're going to want to go ahead and set the opacity of this right here to 100. So you have all that over the clip, but you're going to go to the frame before and you're going to set it to whatever opacity you had before. So I'm just going to set it to zero just so it bursts nicely. And then we're going to go to our shine plugin and we're going to go to colorize and we're going to take off the colorize. So see how it just does that right there. Now it defaults to a three color colorize so it changes it to like a few reds and stuff but I'm going to put it at just one and just put like you know, some kind of blue color. Eh, I don't like that. It's a bit a little brighter. Yeah something like that. All right come back here and just keyframe the opacity of the adjustment layer down to zero or whatever you want it to be, and then take the ray length, make sure it's keyframed at 4 here, 
go clip before, make it zero, and then go to where you made the opacity back down to normal, and then also change that to zero. So if I play through this, hit the shot, looks all nice, and that's how you do that effect. Let me play a little before that. That's pretty much how you do that effect. I used a few different colors in the clip and the color correction made it stand out a little more, but that's the gist of how you do it. So uh, that's really it to doing these two effects. That is, I mean, those two really easy effects that you can do. Um, you just have to basically know how to use keyframes and then just like following directions of a video and anyone can really do that effect. So if this video was helpful to you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to be notified about my future videos. Also be sure to follow me on Twitter and Twitch, which are both down in the description. And speaking of Twitch, if you're watching this video, uh, I'd say at least within two or three hours after I upload it, I'm probably streaming on Twitch right now, streaming some editing. So that is related to this video. And I'm doing um, IV Coding's intro. I'm probably going to be streaming it over my Twitch channel. So if you would like to check that out, there's a link in the description, as usual, to my Twitch channel. So I'd really like to see some of you guys come out to that. And yeah, that's about all I got for this video. Zan out.